growing grapes has never been an exact science, until now. Plant and food research scientists have come up with a mathematical model that predicts the size of next year's Sauvignon Blanc harvest 15 months in advance. It's sometimes scary how accurate it can be and, and you know I, might, I have an old saying that grapevines don't grow on an Excel spreadsheet but you know this is a very uh, very accurate model. Dr Mike Trott was instrumental season. in its creation. Um, and so what the model is doing is it's predicting based on the temperatures that we had in at about Christmas time last year, how many bunches we are likely to get in the coming season. Great buds flower on average at 7 degrees, but if that temperature goes up just 0.2 of a degree, the model will calculate how many more bunches will grow and their weight. Wine growers can then prune accordingly. Although Marlborough's wine growers were initially sceptical when the model was first introduced in 2008, by the following year they were won over. Growers were forced to rethink their risk management after a 30% jump in the 2008 grape harvest left them awash with wine that then sold at discounted prices and grapes left to rot. Dr Trott's warnings were heeded for this year's harvest. If we're swimming in Sauvignon Blanc this year, we're in danger of drowning in it next year. Award-winning winemaker and ex-DSIR scientist Dr John Forrest was an early adopter of the model. It's been ex exceedingly accurate and at the cost of me having to shout the, the Hort team uh, a case of wine for their fantastic efforts. That led to a 50% reduction in pruning costs and saved $1,000 per hectare. The big saving was I didn't have to spend a dollar taking off uh, fruit later in the season when it's all done by hand and very expensive to do so. With such precise pruning, winemakers can grow less grapes on each bunch, allowing them to ripen faster for maximum flavour. If you get big yields, then the danger is the, the quality is going to go down because the fruit's not going to be ripe before an autumn frost. And quality, rather than quantity, is what wine companies want. After last year's overproduction, they enforced yield limits this year, and the great yield model has come into its own. The model's actually brought out how important it is to, to follow what happens the previous season and, and what, your, um, what your potential crop load will be for the next season. Marlborough's Sauvignon Blanc is worth at least $750 million annually and growers predict the model will help pour even more into the economy. Laura Bootham, 3 News.